Okay, I'm doing my debut here. Uh, Coach Palmer on the mic. Um, I won't uh, mic drop like Dr. Z, but I might. Who knows? Um, and I've got uh, some awesome kids here with us today and players. I can't believe that Chad's let me um, take this job here. Um, but we're going to get to know a little bit more about our um, men's and women's sophomores at MAC this year. Um, we don't have all of ours. We got seven. I know they have five. Um, they brought all of them, but I'm I'm here tonight to embarrass them, hopefully, and um, get all kinds of information out. So your parents, when they listen, will be real proud and, um, you know, right, Nate? So let's go around and, and start at Tuck and introduce yourself and where you're from. My whole, my whole government? Oh, yeah, whatever. It's free game. I'm Detay from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. I'm Marcus, and I'm from Chicago. My name is Marion Dickerson. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. My name is Mio. I'm from Orlando, Florida. I'm Audra, and I'm from Wollongong, Australia. I'm Isabel, and I'm from Waukesha, Wisconsin. Um, I'm Annalise from Melbourne, Australia. I'm Remy from Melbourne, Australia also. I'm Richmond, and I'm from London. Okay. So, um, yeah, like we said, we have seven sophomores. Um, the boys have five, so they're all here tonight. Um, who are we missing, girls? The rest of our sophomores. Bella, Katie. Bella, Katie. Talia. Talia, Bella, Katie. Is that it? Mm. Yep. So then that gives us seven. So, um, you know, going to get to know them a little more here. Um, I guess I'll probably just start in the row here and um, go straight to Tuck and and his embarrassing what? Oh, I should go this way. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> no, Tuck, we're coming back to you. Um, we're gonna start with you. Uh, you know, the first thing that I can think of now with you and and dealing with you this year is uh, your soda addiction. Is that right? <laughs> Tell us a little more about this. Why? Why would people? You know say that about you you got to get your microphone we want to hear you. where does this story happen some of your teammates call you what is it two liter mar mar does he have a soda addiction got a soda addition I just think he likes soda well yeah that is true <laughs> um I think that didn't you get in a shooting slump then when you didn't no. drink soda for a while is that <laughs> yeah? <laughs> isn't that true <laughs> okay um you know going going on let's talk about like favorite memories so far at Mac like favorite game um of the year everybody has a game that they they remember or um just kind of an awesome crowd, some, something that at Mac that you just remember from a game. Um, I don't care who goes first. Remy? Um, hmm. Probably the Wabash game. Yeah. Um, just the crowd too and everyone was just up. It was great. Yeah, yep. Who else? Boys, you've won a lot of games. <laughs> Which win would you choose? Yeah, probably Northeast Mississippi. Yeah. Yeah, we and we weren't there for that one. We were, that was our Vincennes weekend, I believe. Yeah, um, yeah. What about you, Rich? I'll probably go the same game. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking you guys would say like um, beating John A. Logan, like your first game. It was your first, um, you know, GH's first game. Uh, back and you guys' first game and kind of all the hard work was was there and was that a great environment down there at Three Rivers when you beat them that first game of the year and you beat them not only by a little bit you beat them by like twenty. Uh, yeah, uh, Johnny Logan game. It was a no. Nah, hold up. <laughs> I mean. Uh, yeah, the first game it was like it was good to win with GH, like with, with him coming back and all, like all the work we put in leading to the moment. But um, like the Mississippi game, it was more like um, they tested us, 
and like before we had like got into it with him like like shoot around and stuff like that so you know i guess it like lit a fire under us to go yeah. and really dominate the matchup so i feel like that's what we did yeah. so i guess that's a favorite game of the season for all of us yeah no that's awesome um do you girls have any other ones beside the wabash three rivers that's always yeah, a good yeah. one baiting three rivers yeah especially with the crowd yeah the crowd yeah yeah. Really big. yeah, we had great crowds for Three Rivers this year, for sure, uh, men's and women's. Um, yeah, we got to take that back to Poplar Bluff to end the season, you know, this year. Um, so, yeah, so tell me, um, you know, who has, um, let's see, what next embarrassing we can say. So we've got a lot of Aussies here. We have um, three, three. three Aussies here, and then Isabel. And, um, you know, the, from the international side, and Rich can get in on this as well, but, you know, how is, how's the MAC life of, of being an international at MAC? Mm. It's different. I feel like we've had a lot of um, arguments about, like, words we say, like, that will try and correct us and, like, ask <laughs> us questions about what we say. But, um, yeah, it's been really good. I have personally found it really hard, like... My family is a big thing to me, so being away from home is really difficult, but I think a massive thing is the community. Like, I've made so many connections with community members, especially with um, Booster members, um, really, really helping us out. So that's my family here, the Mac community. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Rich? Oh, I'll say it's really different from, like, what I'm used to, because I'm from, like, a big city, and then coming to a place where there's, like, not much to do. But, yeah, it's been, like, a good experience, so, yeah. Yeah. We take care of you a little bit, right? Yeah. A little bit. So. Audra? I feel like it's really typical of us to, like, find everything wrong with America. <laughs> <laughs> like, always joke about it. Mm. Yeah. We're not really joking, but... <laughs> right. We, we, we know a lot of that time. Um, okay, I've, I've got some more here. Let's go... Um, Tuck, who's the funniest, and, and let's put the microphone by your face so we can hear your, your voice, but who, who's the funniest person on, on you guys' team? You only get to choose one. This dude right here. Who? All right, Mar. Mar? What makes Mar funny? He's always got he's a goofball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Watson? I say Smitty. Smitty? Smitty and Mar. <laughs> you just say Smitty because he's from Chicago, too? And yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mar, who's funny? Uh, everybody for real. Like, <laughs> like practice be comedy. Games be comedy for real. Like, everybody had their moment, so. Yeah. Yeah, it really be everybody. Okay. Mio? Yeah, Bobby tweaking. Bobby tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll probably have to be Mar other than myself. You know what I'm saying? I think. Oh, you think? I think I'm very <laughs> funny. You feel me? <laughs> They're a little size. That thing say me, but it's okay, though. Yeah. Okay, Rich, who's the funniest? I'll go either like Ma or maybe like Dawson. Dawson in here, but Dawson's funny. Dawson's funny. funny. <laughs> okay. What about our team, Remy? Um, definitely not Bella. <laughs> um, I don't like when Bella speaks. Um, probably Talia. Okay, like she's funny, but like, yeah. I would have said Bella too. <laughs> she can get on my nerves though. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Must be an Aussie. Th oh, well, never mind. No. Um, we got to love be our, uh, Bella. Isabel, who's funny? Uh, I think Maddie Ayers is the funniest to me. She's oh, just yeah. always like goofing around and she's always making me laugh. She's yeah, I agree. On court as well. She just be doing yeah, things. Yeah, she's like, funny. What are you doing? <laughs> y'all gotta tap in with K3. She really the funniest on y'all team. Yeah, K3's yeah. pretty funny. funny. She's yeah, funny. yeah, she's pretty funny. Um, you know what? How about um, what was the one I've been on Shep about getting me some funny questions here to, to embarrass everybody. Let's go, um, what about a, a coaching uh, impression? Does anybody got a good one without? <laughs> yeah, D -Tay. D -Tay. <laughs> yeah, grab that mic, d -Tay. You Come on now. Okay. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't know a coach. It, it would be good. Don't let him score. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. I'm trying to think of a... Yo, best Greg, I hire your pressure, bro. Like. <laughs> He's scared of the mic. <laughs> oh, Dayton says you're scared of the mic. Person, all you do is curse. <laughs> <laughs> it's your best Greg we can we can come back to that if you need to. Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, like Coach, pass over that one. Yeah, Coach PG thirteen. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> um, okay, what about favorite pregame songs? Like, what what pregame song? Do we have a team one, or do you guys individually have pregame songs that you um, would really? Yeah, rocking with that uh, NBA Young Boy. You okay. That boss Man, d uh, We got that No Cap, Rilo, Lil Baby. Okay. We got, we got a few selections. Whatever, you feel me? Whatever. Get us going for that yeah. day. Okay. Listen to gotcha, girls. Um, we asked, the last time we were here, uh, you know, Chad asked our girls a pregame song. They were like, uh, I mean, completely couldn't think of a song. Um, we usually, music, Shep right usually now. does it. We yeah, Shep usually does it. Bad. I'm saying if you were, is that me? Oh. Otherwise, yeah. If you were allowed music, what would it be? I mean, you should give us the music back. <laughs> See, but you don't even have a song. Like, <laughs> you have no. Shep, Shep normally yeah. is on music. She normally just shuffles. I know, but like, let's say you were on the bus and you got two more songs listened to before you go to Moberly on Wednesday. Like, what two songs do you listen to? Uh, See, put you we guys. Need Dame here. Yeah. Yeah. Dame's pretty good with his music. Yeah. yeah. I don't really have anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of times you guys say like, you know, we have like a mom on the team, mm. and she's here with us tonight, right? Yeah. 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 So how come Isabel's like the mom? Okay, she literally owns everything. <laughs> like you ask her for the most random thing, and she'll have it. Yeah, I just she's got asked for a screwdriver like four minutes ago, actually. <laughs> she literally. And you have one. To her teammates yeah. too. I think it was Ash and Skylar forgot their shoes, and she had a spare pair of shoes in her bag just because. Yeah, so right. Ash squeezed okay. her feet in those, and she's never been in so yeah. much pain. Like a four size difference. <laughs> okay. Yep. So the mom and the crew. <coughs> what about? Do you guys have somebody on your team that's kind of like always in charge, always like has everything you need? Kind of. Who would you go to on your team? If you needed a screwdriver, <coughs> who would you text on your team? We're we'll just. We're just. Picking something random there. Or shoes. <laughs> yeah, probably yeah, PG, yeah. Probably PG though. Like when when my car was like messing up earlier in the year, like PG always had the battery on him, everything. Like he was giving me right every time. So <laughs> And tell us who, who PG is. I know, but just tell everybody who you're talking about. Peyton Groover. Peyton Groover. Yeah. 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 So he, that I, that's Probably interesting. Mason, too, mm -hmm. Mason, yeah, always got that. Yeah, Mason. Mason, yeah, I could see that. Get a coach's impression from, from one of y'all. Mm. Yeah, like what be what coach be? There's too guys. many cuss yeah. words. Yeah. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> no, recently it's been on the line, <laughs> on the line, oh, yeah. <laughs> on the line. Yeah, today was today was on the line a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. On the line, yeah. You guys have an impression of me or something? Oh. Didn't. <laughs> they do, they do. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, what's one thing, you know, talking about sophomore night, what's one thing you guys are all going to um, miss about Mac, you think? Tuck? Yeah. Watson? Same. Yeah, great environment. Yeah, for the most part, I like the people. I hear everybody, everybody want for real because the community is so small. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mio, you better give him the mic. Uh, for me, really, just like the guys, though, hanging with the guys because it ain't really too much to do like in this town. So hanging with the guys be the best part. So. Yeah. That team bonding. Rich. I'm going to go Miss Michelle. This Michelle, <laughs> <laughs> she hooked you up in the cab, huh? It's really every day. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, Miss Michelle, Max. What What's your favorite meal from the cab? I don't know anything with rice. Okay. Anything yeah. with rice. Okay. And girls, what's What's one of the things you'll really miss about Mac? You think next year? Probably my teammates. Um, we all get along really well. Um, yeah, and like the family environment. Yeah. I'd agree. I feel like I've made a really close connection with all the girls this year. It's going to be a little bit difficult. I think we've had multiple conversations about the fact like next year, where wherever we go, it'll be really tough creating the same connections that we've got this year just because we're so close. So. Right. I think the same thing, like the, the team, the whole team, like having, having Shep as close as we are with her, having you as, uh, as great as you are to us. Um, but yeah, the, the, the team aspect, I think, is really going to be hard to leave. 
Uh, it was last year the same thing. It, yeah. JUCOs are so easy to to bond so fast. Uh, so I think it's going to be hard to leave it. Yeah, especially when we all do what we do, you know, in these next couple of weeks, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Audra. Our teammates for sure, but I feel like we won't really know what we miss until like we're at our yeah. next school when we don't have it. Yeah. So. Like us reminding you guys all the time of how yeah. how special of a situation you're in right now, and to, and to what be where your feet are and and be in this present because it. Yeah, I was once here in your spot, and as soon as I left, I thought. Oh my gosh, I wish Mac was a four year. Um, I just, I loved it. And um, a lot of teammates say that, and a lot of kids, you know, that leave now say it. So, yeah, it's a special place, special bond. Um, what about um, favorite basketball player of, of, it can be anything, anybody. You could start it with MJ, or, and then hopefully you're not going to say LeBron, but anyway. No LeBron. Okay. Tuck. Favorite basketball player? Yeah, I'd probably say LeBron. Yeah, LeBron is crazy. <laughs> Watson, take that mic so I can hear you. Sorry. Uh, Kyrie Irving. Okay, yeah. LeBron James. Oh, gosh. Mio, don't do it to me. What? Uh, Paul George. Okay, yeah. Audra? Clock. Oh, Caitlin, okay. My man Giannis. Okay, Giannis. Who did you say? Giannis. Giannis. Oh, uh, Jazz Shelley. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anthony Edwards. Okay. I'm going to have to go with LeBron. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Uh, okay. Um, Who did everybody want the, to win the Super Bowl? Was everybody happy with the Chiefs winning? No. Sure. <laughs> Didn't care? No, nah, I wanted I don't know anything about football. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but they weren't in the Super Bowl, so I mean, like. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so what about um, your your favorite thing to do outside of basketball? What What do you guys What do you guys do? Rich, you want to start this one? Yeah, Remy, give give him the mic here. I like to travel. You like to travel? Where's the coolest place you've ever been? Besides Park Hills, of course. Besides Park Hills. In this country, I'd probably go Vegas. Okay, yeah. You liked Vegas, huh? Cool. What did you like about it? Just like the lights, everything. Yeah. It was cool. Nice. Remy? Uh, I don't really know. Wait, you go. I feel like I feel like in our downtime, I just sleep or read. So, I mean, like... Yeah, you're a reader. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Isabel? Um, I don't know in our downtime here, but, like... <laughs> We don't have that much, but yeah. uh, just in general, I like, like in summer, I'll go uh, boating a lot and, and yeah. go to a beach a lot, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's very different. Back at home, is just like beach in summertime, but even the wintertime, like getting up, going for a walk by the beach, having a coffee with a friend, like that kind of thing. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. yeah. Mia, what do you do in your spare time? Without basketball. You're Florida, so you a beach guy? Yeah, I'm not really a beach guy. Like, if, if I'm not, like, doing basketball, I'm probably, like, just chilling with the homies or getting some sleep or something. I don't really be out too much till I till I got that cheese, though. Once, once I <laughs> make some money, then I'm going to make some shake. Okay. Mar, what do you do? Yeah, uh, probably the same meal for real. Just, like, chill with my family and stuff, big on family, because, you know, like, we don't got a lot of time. Yeah. Like with the season and school and stuff like that. So Yeah. Just probably chill with the fam, uh eat some food with the fam, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I would say sleeping and playing the game. Yeah. Okay. What game? What game? Call of Duty and two K. <laughs> Is he pretty good? <laughs> nah, he, he he good at Kai. Oh, okay. Well, I might sleep, uh, eat. Drink a couple sodas here and there. <laughs> <laughs> if if you're in your best, yeah. Yeah. So you say sleep, eat. Okay, let's go to the eating question. What's favorite food? If you have one meal, what would what would you choose? Pasta. What kind? Red, Alfredo's, like what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seafood. Yeah. Yeah, that's... 
Yum. Yeah. Probably like uh, probably like some soul food or something. Yeah. Yeah, like some pot roast with the greens, mm-hmm. like yams and stuff like that. Fried chicken. Like Does, other food. Is there any place up here that nah, gets close to that? Nah, nah. Nah. <laughs> I mean, they got old mine, but <laughs> yeah. I ain't really never been there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mia, what are you eating? I'm definitely on the same thing, three on, like some some mac and cheese, like all of that. I mean, all of that. So. Okay. Audra? I'm a breakfast person, so I feel like just like a bagel, scrambled eggs, and then barbecue sauce, obviously. And you guys, you Americans don't put like tomato sauce or barbecue sauce on your eggs, but that's just like you're either one or the other in Australia. Interesting. Mm-hmm. That barbecue sauce on your egg. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've heard of people putting ketchup no, on eggs, right? Yeah, that's what we like, call tomato common. sauce. <laughs> ketchup? Yeah. It's tomato yeah. sauce, yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah? Yeah. Oh, I was like, yeah, but you said barbecue sauce, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. Tomato, well. tomato, yeah. Isabel? Uh, any type of tacos. I love them. Tacos? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Tacos. Annalise, uh, she's our picky one, though. Yes. But has gotten a lot better. Yes. Yeah. I've been eating so much better. But I'm a big pasta person. My dad's pastas are probably the best. Yeah. Mm. You know me? Um, probably Indian food. There's not really much choice around here, but... You Have know. you done pad thai? Um, No. No? What is that, like Thai food? Yeah. Yeah. Caitlin, oh, I think, Kate, have you guys been there, girls? Yeah. Is it's it good? Everyone, but it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember last year, uh, Caitlin had asked about something, and I said Pad Thai, and I think she went and liked it. Mm. Yeah. Um, Rich, you said a little bit, but. Right, any type of, like, rice or, like, rice. Turkish food. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. So have you ever had those, what do they call it, poke, poke bowls or something? Poke, what is it? What's that? I don't know. They there's something new that I know that in St. Louis they stop please, that they've had. Um, it's basically like sushi, no. but like in a bowl. Oh, like any like seafood. Oh well, I mean it could be maybe. Well, I guess I don't know. No, no. It's like it's like me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what about shout outs? Like who do you guys want to give some shout outs to from from home or, you know, former coaches or. <laughs> teammates on your team right now back at the dorms <laughs> you know what do you got what do you got Mio? yeah i'm gonna shout out shout out to my trainer uh antonio owens he really like helped me like lock in to get where i am today uh shout out to my dog vert and geo jordan autumn boys so yeah yeah mar shout out to my brother my family all that I can't leave them out too yeah i was gonna say yeah you gotta... yeah for sure shout out to the fam uh, my granny and them, my aunties, my mom, Dukes, and all of them. You know, everybody that I'm tied in with back at the crib. You know? Yeah. Uh, you know, special shout out to God, too, because without God, none of this, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Happen, so that's really it for real. Yeah. So freedom boys, too. <laughs> freedom boys? Yeah. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my mom and dad for making me. Yeah, I love your mom and dad. I, like, yeah. literally got to spend a lot of time with them the last time they were down, and yeah, mm-hmm. great people. And Freedom Boys. So, hey, Watson, supposedly they're bringing a shirt for me Saturday, like, that they had on <laughs> for the game. Just a picture of you, like, on a shirt. And they're bringing me one. And I want to rep it. So, yeah. No Westbrook closeouts for you on, on uh, Saturday. No, I, I, a, fun, a fun story about this, Watson, and tell, me if, or tell them if this is true or not. Um, in our locker room, it was before um, a tournament game, like I think maybe the Thanksgiving, right? Um, and I, I sat there and I went in our locker room and the um, coach before didn't, you know, it's one of my big pet peeves. I always tell our girls, when we leave locker rooms, you race everything off the board. Like we don't want, you know, any business handled like that. And so anyway, they had your guys' whole scout on the board. And so I was just looking for something that would just kind of get you guys kind of fired up. And it was all pretty pretty normal. Then I go to Watson's and it said something like, you know, quick guard, Westbrook close out. So I, I stormed out. I stormed out and they're doing the starting lineups. And he, I went to tap him. I was like, you wouldn't believe. You would not believe what I just read on the board. You know what they said about you? They said you, you were a Westbrook close out. Like, no respect. They don't, you know, he went off, didn't you? You hit like the next two threes, like start of the game, hitting two threes. Then I was kind of like, ooh, GH, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was Wabash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it was good stuff, though. I, I like that. 
I, I understand you guys need a little firing up, so it's I was happy to help. <laughs> Tug. Uh, shout out my mom. Shout out the guys. Freedom boys. Ain't that what y'all say? Freedom boys. Rich. I'm gonna say thing. Family, friends. Shout them out. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, shout out my mom and my dad and my brothers. I miss them. Yeah. Um, hi to my mom, dad, Zach, and Nick. I miss you all and I love you all. Yeah. Yeah, the fam, for sure. Everyone's doing family. You know who I want to give a shout out to? Uh, Lexi McCulley and Gabby oh, from last oh, year. I really yeah, do. Yeah, that's good. Honestly, that's good my stuff. two favorite people. I've never laughed so hard in my life. I yeah. miss them a lot. Yeah, they're doing a really good job as well. You know, uh, Gabby's killing it in Nebraska. Uh, Lexi and them had a big win, and they're tied for first, I think, in the in their league um, out in Georgia. So yeah, I I agree. They they still keep in touch, and it's when you see their and you know like it's funny because I'm always quick to Facetime, but it's because of those two. Like every time they call, it's a, I'm like here they are Facetime to be eight in the morning or or midnight. You know they're they're wanting to Facetime. So yeah, did we get everybody on that deal? Shout out, shout out Coach GH, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Without, yeah. without him, B1, B in a position that we're in right now to be successful. So, shout Absolutely. Out to all of us, the opportunity to come and play for him, and you know what I'm saying, come be a part of his team. Yeah, and that's kind of, you know, like Mar, Audra, Annalise, you guys have been here uh, more than the rest of them, clearly, with, with being returners. Um, how different is that? Like, I mean, we're tight. Like, I feel like that all of uh you boys, and, and it's always been that way, but um, GH and I's bond has really, I think, helped both programs with knowing that, um, you know, we have your back, you have ours, and it's just kind of, it's pretty tough, and um, it doesn't always happen like that. And what would you guys say about the difference from from this year and then, you know, adding GH and, and his perspective? I feel like there was a stern wall between the two teams, and I, I feel like there was just like like nothing that was connected with them. Other right. Than probably, you know, social outings that we saw them around the campus, but there wasn't anything to connect it. And I right. feel like this year it's created both programs to succeed on court as well as um, through, throughout the community. Like we've been able to do things with the boys team this year that we didn't right. do last year with the community, which is yeah. really, really good. Yeah. And the community loves seeing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Audra? Yeah. I think it helps with like the community as well. And just like working together just in general just makes things a lot better. Right, yeah, Mar. What was, what was the question again? Just like the difference from from last year versus this year, like you know, GH and I, um, you know, really uh, rely on each other and and have each other's backs, and I think that you guys you see that it's like that with you all as well, and um, I, it's important, you know, like it was, um, you know, I think we have all of the same visions, and it starts with like that discipline. You know, and you guys uh, have high standards um, that your coach is, is pushing for, as as do we. And we know that any mess ups along the way, like, could really hurt. And it's not only going to hurt you. And, you know, I think about, like, um, you know, we we lost um, at State Fair. And, man, like, it was – you guys were down there, like, hyping us up. And it was a close game back and forth. And it was – I mean, we were going through some sloppiness in a hard road uh, region game. And – um, man, I came off the court and like, I mean, of course, like I'm hurting, right? Like we hadn't lost since like beginning of November. Um, but man, I, I just saw you guys' faces and, and GHs and it was like, you know, that it, it took a loss on you guys as well. And, and that's, you know, that's a special thing. But then I was kind of like, bounce back. Like your guys are fine. Like, and all of a sudden I come back out and it was like 14 to one state fair. And I'm going, Oh my gosh, boys, like, don't be worried about that much. You guys need to worry about your games. You know, it just felt like. Maybe you guys kind of were hit hard too, like with our loss, and and I feel the same way about, um, you know, you guys, and and we appreciate you know what you guys do for us, and um, you know, vice versa, I'm sure. But Mar, yeah, that's kind of what I was just asking. It's been a difference, hasn't it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's just really like um, you and GH got the same goal, and like y'all implement the same goal too, like just win at all costs. So last year was kind of more like. Um, like, I don't want to take, like, no shots at the other coach or none of that. But yeah. it was, like, you, like, you was the one that was really, like, you wanted to win at all coasts uh, with the head coach last year. It was more like we were just cruising and whatever happens, happens type stuff. So, yeah. yeah. It's good to be on, like, the same page as yeah. with everybody and everybody is one for real, so. Yeah. Yeah, and I I mean, I love it. I love it for the fact of, um, you know, GH is, is um, 
has a, a you know boys that are like that I'm I'm loving you know dating and has her favorites of of all you guys as well and um, it's nice that that role models you know are as important because you guys know you act crazy um, and you know do something to your attitude coach here or embarrass him or this community you know he's gonna be all over you so um, you guys walk on that on that line which is great which is great to feel that way um, yeah what what do we think do you guys have any questions for them that I haven't asked. No, you had some good ones last time. What was it? What about the shoes? What kind of shoes does everybody hoop in? Sabrina's. Sabrina's. Woo-hoo. Kyrie's. Kyrie's. PG's. PG's. Maybe it's coming. Maybe it's coming, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those shoes. Yeah, so you guys are all just different ones. Yeah. She, he's Paul George's, right? Yeah. Jaws. Jaws. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Just team Nike for real. Like if Nike produced a good shoe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's move to classroom stuff. <laughs> what about what about favorite person at Mac? You can't say Michelle. We've already said Michelle, but like somebody at Mac, it can be academic side. It could be, you know, any anybody from the bookstore. It could be. It just has to be somebody different than than our basketball team. I don't know. Your teachers. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell. Yeah, Mr. Mitchell. Love to Mr. Mitchell. Yeah, Mr. Mitchell. Yeah, he's a good one. He's the sweetest. Oh, yeah, Love probably, probably Dr. Bird. Yeah, Dr. Bird? Yeah, she the go. She, she, uh, she, like, she an American history teacher. Yeah? Yeah, she, 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 she like, she a good teacher. I like yeah. To go about her stuff. Yeah. Mm. I just got a, a list. Dodger's very... No, not really. I'm Mr. Mitchell, he's really sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, he's a good one. He is a good one. What about your favorite subjects? Like, what what's your... What's everybody majoring in? I know some of you don't know, and if you don't know, that's okay, because you're still young. Um, but what's, what's kind of, how about like your, what you're looking to major in, or what would be your dream job? You can have either or. Tuck, what, what's your dream job? This should be real interesting. Get that mic, get that mic so we can hear you. Don't you want Cape to hear you, you know, loud and clear? Like a, like a high school basketball coach. Oh, okay. Something like that. What about, at, like, would it be at Cape Central, or where are you going? Yeah, that'd be the dream. Oh, okay. Got it. Watson? Uh, probably owning my own store or something. Yeah. Just of anything? Like, you, do you have anything that you just want to run your own business? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right. I want to do the same thing. Like, uh, I opened up my own businesses and stuff like that. Like, when like I'm done hooping. Probably get into, like, sports medicine and stuff. You know? Yeah. 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 I mean, um, I don't really be thinking too much past, like, basketball. But I major in psychology, so, like, I'd probably do some like, be, like, a therapist or something. I just like hearing people, like, the way people, like, work, the way their minds work. Yeah. Understanding how stuff, like, happens, so. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I feel like I am sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Psychologist. Probably signing, like, engineering or, like, Ooh. owning a business. Like real estate, something like that. Oh, real estate. Yeah. Nice. So I think. Okay. Um, I want to go into graphic design or something to do with like sports management. Okay. I'm not entirely sure, but I'd love to do something in the medical field. I've taken an interest in psychology and sociology, so something down that path. Yeah. Mine's gonna be biology, um, and I'll go into orthopedics or sports medicine or something like that. Yeah. I feel like I'm on the same page with me. I just, like, see how far basketball takes you. And then, like, on the side, I guess science is, like, my favorite subject. So anything along the lines of that? Yeah. Sounds like we got some smart individuals, doesn't it? Yeah, so, like, what's... Chad, kick me off whenever, you know, uh, the time tells you. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, we. So what about, like, sophomore night? Like, what do you think? I mean, we, we, we got a game Wednesday on the road at Moberly, a big game. Um, yours is a nationally ranked game again, right? They're still ranked. Um, and always a tough opponent. And 
a big time battle and and for us as well you know going into playing the teams three times i mean it was the third time and so um all that's important um you know but then saturday sophomore night i mean it, you have a similar deal probably in high school right like senior night um you know what what are you most looking forward to i mean i know a bunch of you just came here and haven't seen it the year before how it works and things like that but you know what what does sophomore night mean to you guys as far as winning winning yeah okay yeah i like it yeah winning keep it as simple as that yeah that's all it is yeah yeah i really want to like dominate them boys because last time we was over there one of them was talking crazy yeah so (laughs) it's straight we're gonna we're gonna see them boys on saturday yeah yeah okay girls what do you what do you think you you know i'm sure um, last year, you guys got to see like us honor and the girls and and things like that. Um, what we what do we think for Saturday? Um, I'm kind of sad to be honest. I yeah. mean, I missed my first year, but yeah. it was really enjoyable to watch everyone. But I remember how upset I was watching all the girls yeah. finish their last game at home. So, no, it'd be nice to beat Sta- State Fair. Honestly, it'd be yeah. really really nice to finish out on the home court. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely win, but like we don't really do that type of thing back at home, so it's gonna be really interesting to like celebrate each other, and yeah, it'll probably be pretty sad too. Right. So, yeah. What about so you guys? You guys don't do like senior nights and things because it's we, we, we do, we but play clubs, so we don't really have. Yeah, yeah it's like club basketball instead of like, like high school basketball. Yeah, you graduate right. from like juniors, like right. top age eighteen, you graduate yeah. from that, but there's nothing like into youth league, and then like. It, yeah, yeah, it just never stops, really. There's really no mm-hmm. celebration apart from graduation, but... Yeah. Yeah. Really anything special. Mm. Yeah. Same way, Rick. Yeah, it's, it's the club. Play, yeah, we play club basketball, so it's kind of different. It's not really, like, it's not really like celebration. There's no real, like, ending. You just kind of, like, mm-hmm. just leave. You know what I'm saying? Right. And yeah. Yeah. It's going to be, like, a good experience, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's, you know, in honor of you guys and things like that. And, you know, I think it's huge because then... You, you just set the, the groundwork then for the freshmen that are that are looking to come back. And um, I think that's huge. And I think we have two good groups that are setting, you know, the pavers down and, and um, making it better, better, better. I know our program is especially. And I know, um, good Lord, for your, you guys' uh, craziness is just like GH having like 20 days to get a team together. And then now you got like one of the best teams in the country, which I think personally you guys are the best. But I'm saying like that's what they're saying. Um, so I think that's a pretty, that's, um, the, it's pretty crazy that, that you guys were able to do that. And then, um, also then, you know, we're, we're following suit and, um, and, and right behind it. Um, what about, um, I just, I had one and then you saw, I had a whole list and then Dayton or Nola took my phone, I guess. So we're going, uh, improv now. Um, how about if you had to go to lunch with somebody and it could be dead or alive who would you go to lunch with lunch. yeah or like dinner whatever you know <laughs> like you had to, you get to go to a meal mm. and you get to spend some time and talk to somebody like who would you go i mean it could be you know a relative that's passed away or it could be michael jordan or it could be you know it could be anybody yeah, like kobe. kobe yeah watson yeah kobe mar Okay. So I, I might just uh, go get the five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it probably uh, I don't know, probably like Lauren Hill or something. Oh, okay. Erica Badu or something. Uh, okay, Mio down there. Lunch. Mm. <laughs> Don't stick too much on the line. I mean, just yeah. you, you get to go have a conversation with somebody. Uh, I don't really know. I <laughs> From Florida. Kodak. I'll yeah, probably. Kodak. Yeah, I'll go to lunch of Kodak, chop Kodak it up with my boy. boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with Hot Boy. Free um, Hot Boy. So. Yeah. I'm guessing these are singers. Yeah, yeah, rappers. Yeah. Rappers, okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah, Rich. I know you're stewing down here. You got somebody? I don't know. Probably like the Lord. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> right. <laughs> right to it. <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> okay, Rich getting real. Okay, yeah. Um, probably my mom, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, I'd probably say my nan who passed away when I was younger. All my family. Yeah. Right now would be really, really would be really nice, nice for you. Now. Yeah. As well. I haven't thought too much about a celebrity, but I mean any of my grandparents, really. Yeah. yeah. I'd go with like, I don't know, maybe a basketball player, or like someone like really wise and just yeah. like learn a lot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Who would be wise, you think? I don't know, like Dalai Lama or something. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like someone, like, up top. Right, yeah. Like Einstein or something, yeah. yeah. Gotcha, yeah. So what else? What else do you guys got to say here before we kind of run out of do embarrassing you questions? Do questions of us? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh gosh. Well, hold on. I can, hold on, I got to think, because you guys in finishing school. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know I'm trying to think of. Mm. Are you trying to think of? Mio. Hey, hey, Bella, hey. hey. Did you, Mio, today, when you were down there. I feel like you got like to hit them harder. In the, in he the, makes fun of you. Yeah, I know, but she Mio, I'm, I'm like, I don't work out as much anymore, and I'm just like not as, I'm not as. Her arms are good. My arms, after I get done with that full 15 minutes, is like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, I'm so sore. Um, so I'm doing the best I can, Mio. Like, you know, like I don't have a ton of roams and, and trays and Jonas running around all the time. Um so yeah, like I thought today, I don't even know if you were paying attention, but when you were coming out of practice, the girls were like, I mean, Bella just kept it going, kept it going. It was, hey, hey. And then she goes to the other end. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, we get it. But clearly Mio's not listening yeah. and does, it's not as funny. I thought she was trying to like get your attention. You had no clue. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't peeping, I ain't. How come, how come this impression is, cause I was like, Bella, why are you doing this? Stuff? Like it's Mio. <laughs> They be um they be following me so <laughs> when I when I go up I gotta tell the ref like hey, hey. <laughs> look at the foul you know what I'm saying so that's really what it be just look at the foul the refs act like they don't see nothing but it be cool yeah <laughs> yeah that's uh yeah I mean I really don't this group here I really don't have impression besides me uh, I mean, I, I, I couldn't even try to do Watson's. He's too dang quick for anything. Um, just soaring through. Um, Mars, huh? Doing Australian accent. He what? Can you do an Australian accent? Oh, yeah. Come on. Um, you can do it. I know. I'm trying to think of something you guys say. I mean, the, the, yeah, the, the thing that you guys, like, there's just no R's. I mean, that's just the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. Water. Yeah. Like, Water. Yeah. Yeah. I... What did yeah, you say? I don't know. What? I've really, you know, enjoyed who was I with, and we were looking up. Uh, like slang words? Oh, it was Bella's mom when she was visiting. Oh, no. Uh, listen, you guys do TikTok, I'm sure, and I don't, but I've really started to kind of look at it now, and especially when I'm trying to find some, like, like funny stuff. But kangaroos fighting yeah. are, so, that's so funny. They're scary. They are really, they do, yes. Like do you guys four. know this? Like, the whole thing with kangaroos, like, they're like deers here, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, just all over. But they're huge, and they actually will kill you if if you mess with them. But if you don't mess with them, right, they won't. Yeah, I thought they were, like, like nice animals and stuff. Mm -mm. Right. Until you, like, buy them. Yes, and you ought to see some of those videos. You literally, you will go like this for, like, a whole I night. Seen, I seen the kangaroo knock somebody out before, like, on the internet. <laughs> yeah. We ain't got kangaroos here, though. Well, I know, but you got these teammates, you know, and people that know about these. Like, they're crazy, aren't they? <laughs> they're really big, too. Huge. Yeah, yeah Annalise huge. comes from a place where they're Mark, around they're bigger yeah. than you and Rich and all. Like, yeah, they're like, huge. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. Do they got the wings? I mean, we have... Uh, like, yes. Around our backyard. Like, stand on their tails? Yes, they stand on their tails and they kick. Wow. Annalise has them in her backyard. Yeah, I have, like, where I live, like, I'm on a big acre, so, like, I've got kangaroos that normally sit out in the back. Yeah, but you're talking or about, like, they, like, wallabies? bounce down. No. No, 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 like, an actual kangaroo. Like, like they'll, big ones. They'll end up, like, on the f front, uh, like, out in the front yard. Sometimes we have them, like, hopping down the f um, street as you're driving out in the morning. You just, yeah, you just drive and then just stand in there. Like a deer. Like, yeah, I feel like your deer is like a kangaroo. Yeah, that's how I was yeah. think of it as well too. Yeah, that's 
crazy. I've I've spent many many hours watching kangaroo videos, and they're they're pretty interesting. And if you got that's your homework tonight, um, and then let me know tomorrow just what you thought, because you won't be disappointed, because it's pretty crazy. And they look kind of fake. Like when you start seeing them really fight, like in how their eyes look and stuff, I'm like, it looks, it looks real. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of a. Yeah, TikTok be having too many like conspiracy theories. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're. Uh, it's got a lot of. It's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, I try to. Like I said, I I didn't have one, but I got one for our Mac deal, and now I kind of, I watch it a little bit, and I get I get laughing. Um, I love the ones. And it kind of reminds me of Shep a little bit, but I love the ones where, like, the teachers will ask, like, you know, Dayton and Nola's age, like, they'll ask them some kind of, like, uh, who is somebody, like, who's Albert Einstein? And some of them, they will just go off on a rant about, like, oh, yeah, that's my mom's sister. She, you know, like, he'll, she'll, they'll just go for random things, and it's, it's hilarious. So um, Shep's making one right now of Nola, and every time she sees Nola, she goes up to her and says, Nola, spell son, okay? And Nola's like, you know Nola, she's stubborn and doesn't care. And she'll be like, O-E-E. And Shep's like, yeah, girl, like, that's right. And Nola's so happy, and she's just made a bunch of these videos. Yeah, that's, that's going to be funny, yeah. So, okay, um, you know, finishing up. Girls, what do you, you guys have questions? You kind of help, what? Who's, oh, you do? Their middle name. Oh, middle name. Okay, good one. Good middle name. Uh-oh. That's a good one. Okay, Tuck, what is... Um, <laughs> D'Amico, okay. Amar. Amar, Just yours? Yeah, you're straight to it, yeah. Stefan. Stefan? My mama name... Stephanie, so Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Elena. Anne. Ooh, that's me. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Elizabeth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Paige. Mine are African so I'm, I'm a pause. No, what is it? They're like African, so I'm a pause. Wow. Nah, you gotta see it. Bro. Nah, man. Everybody else. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are in English. Why not in English? Who do you think you is? So just be the okay, we'll say it however you want. Um, Aquasi means Sunday. Because I was born on Sunday. Ooh. And then a free year means from a good place. <gasps> Richmond, Aquasi, a free year? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you got? <laughs> Um, they, they already asked. Yeah, already huh? So what about what about Dayton? Like she just comes out just saying some wild stuff in in the huddle to you guys or what? She GH calls her your attitude coach, but like she be on her own time and for real. Like <laughs> you know, like she can't really. I mean, she can control what he say, but like whatever she says, she just say it. Whatever come to her mind, she just say it. Yeah, yeah. I think Dayton should tell us who her favorites are. Mm-hmm. Oh, who your favorites are? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you stand up here? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, just... How yeah. do I do that? Well, you just tell it. You just say, like, okay, who are some, who are some of your favorite ones on, on the I, boys' I team? I have two on the girls' team and two on the boys' team. Ooh. Oh, are they here? Yeah. They're here? One, one of them... Go ahead. One, okay. You can do it. One of them is... On the girls' team, one of them is not here. Okay. And on the boys' team, one of them is okay. not here. Okay. So let's let's talk about the boys. You're gonna pick two, you said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell us. <laughs> My first on the girls is Remy. Oh wow! Wow. Yeah. They, ask her again; she'll change. Yeah. <laughs> and then, Katie. <laughs> and then. DJ. Oh. Yeah, DJ. Oh. And then Smitty. Oh, Smitty. Why, what's up with Smitty? T- tell us that. Come on. You always talk about what, what's like up with Smitty. Smitty. Yeah. I'm really hot. How come? He just makes me. He's just funny. He's just funny? <laughs> yeah. What about. We got some really good players here, right? 
Like, what do, what do they all do? Caitlin's a really good one. She's a good one? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Because she what? She makes a bunch of threes. <laughs> that makes you good, huh? Yeah. So that's why you like Vite. Well, really. Yeah. Hey, what about, um, so what do I, you've seen these, all these guys play. Like, uh-huh. what do they all, like, what's one thing they do really good? Like, start with Tuck. What does Tuck do good? He shoots good. He shoots good? Okay, good. Especially when he's drinking soda, right? Yeah. Okay, and then what about Watson? Do you, Here's a question, too. Can you tell us their numbers? Do you know their numbers, though? Are you that good? Ten. Oh, yeah. One, three, five, and then... <laughs> she doesn't know what else. She doesn't know ours. She only knows the boys. Rich is tough. Rich, Rich and I share a number. Yeah, I was going to say... Twenty-one. Twenty-one. What about Remy's? One. And Annalise? 23. Yeah. 21. And then 24. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good, eh? Yeah. He's good at dunking. Okay, Mars, good at dunk. Okay, what about Watson? What's he good at? He's good, like, coming around and just... Passing the ball. Like yeah, like a, yeah. <laughs> like getting the ball and then passing it and then someone will make a three-pointer. Yeah, give an assist, right? That's that's what you do good too, right, on your team? I can't get, Day- Dayton doesn't like to score it. She likes to pass and, and then, her team needs her too. <laughs> okay, and then uh, Mar dunks it well, right? Yeah. And then mm-hmm. Mio. What's Mio do good? He's, oh. <laughs> He's a good shooter. Too. He's a good shooter too. Okay, what's Audrey do good? She's always there to help. Ooh. She's always there to help. Oh, wow. She always what? She's always there to help. And I, then, uh, Isabel. Isabel's always there to pass it to Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Says, just like Mar said, says it like she feels. Yeah, whatever, okay? Whatever, whatever comes to it. it. Yeah. And then she's always Anna. making layups. Okay. Yeah. Me? Yeah. yeah she what does. about Remy? Threes. Threes? Threes? Yes. Yeah, what's she doing? She hits one. She, she goes. <laughs> <laughs> what about Rich? Valley um, people. He's, he, he's there to catch it. He's there to catch it. There, there to catch it, yeah. Rebound. Yeah. Rebounding. <laughs> yeah. Catching. Yeah. Do you have a, an impression of any of these guys? Like What's that mean? Like, what they do. Like you said, Remy does like this or something. Do the boys do anything crazy? You know how they said earlier, like, Mio's always going, hey. Is he getting <laughs> fouled? Hey. Hey. Like, do any of them do funny stuff? Horn, horn. Smitty. When he... When he's like, when he's like, like he's like, but we get the ball. So he's like, what? <laughs> he's looking back at the refs, and the refs are like, <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. Right? What was what was your speech? I heard you know I was looking for you the other day to leave, trying to leave, and all of a sudden I hear your voice in the middle of their huddle, and you were like. Giving them some kind of speech. Uh, what was going on? They keep on having re- uh, GH. Keep on having repeat stuff. So what? What do you say? I just said, you guys shouldn't be like you shouldn't be letting your own coach just letting you repeat and repeat and repeat stuff. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. To listen. So you told them to listen, huh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're really thankful for these guys, aren't we? It's going to be a sad time that we're going to just have to, you know, this will be their last home game. Well, we're going to host. We're all getting the one seed and we're all going to host. So this is going to be our last home game, you know, unofficially, right? Yeah. Because you're going to, you'll really miss them, right? I think last year was her first year where she was old enough to tell, like, what sophomore night meant and stuff. And she was like, what do you mean? Like, and when we lost that last game last year. She, it was just tears, and she was just like, she really understood then what it meant, like, that, like, you know, like, Lexi wouldn't be back this year, or that kind of stuff, and, like, that's the first time I had seen her 
you know, because she's getting older. But like before, it was just like, OK, on to the next, on to the next. And so I know that that's that's really kind of it's it's a special deal because um, for you guys to bond with her and, and things like that, like that's what it's all about. Like we wouldn't want um, any other place. Um, and we know that that her and Nola can be a lot sometimes. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're thankful you got a bunch of big uh, brothers and sisters that are good role models. Right. You want to be like them one day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anything else anybody wants to say or winches, you have anything that you want us to ask? Yeah. You have anything? No. Nothing. Oh, do you guys have a favorite YouTuber? Oh, what? Who is it? Uh, mm-hmm. oh, okay. I used to watch like uh, Light Reacts, uh, Oprah Side, Cash Nasty, like throwback YouTube a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm young, but I'm kind of old, old. <laughs> like, I don't know any of the stuff you guys say about. Um, what? Okay. Like Love- Jack Doherty. What? It's a YouTuber. Jack Dorothy? Dor- Dor- yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Shout out to Jack. I, I have no clue. I have no clue who that is. But yeah. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And then, how about um, who who will win um, for the men? You tell us who will win the men's um, championship NCAA this year. Just one team. Girls, you'll pick the girls. Mm. Rock chalk, rock chalk. I got Houston for real. Houston, yeah. Houston's good. We got we got a similar play style with Houston. So. Yeah, yeah. I know GH loves Houston. Then. Probably UConn too. Cause we got we got. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mio, who you like? Yes. Nobody likes Kansas. No. Hey, I do. Well, I know you do. Yeah. We we brainwashed you. Yeah, I don't know about Kansas. So. Mm. Okay. Purdue. Purdue. Yeah. Tuck, what do you got? Semo doing it? (laughs) (laughs) UConn, yeah. Yeah, Audra, are you going to South Carolina's on the revenge, especially after getting knocked out in the semis. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of unstoppable right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still undefeated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I like... um, um, uh, clearly, I like I like Iowa and whatnot, but I really like Indiana women and GH's, you know, sister-in-law Shauna upset them today. Um, they were number fourteen, and and Illinois women had them at home and beat them. And we were going to practice, and I text GH, you guys were almost done. I was hoping to get you out of practice early, you know, because I was like, hey, Shauna's up sixteen at half, and. So then I went down, and then during practice, I kept telling Shep, hey, check that score, check that score. And anyway, they won by 20. So that's the first ranked opponent they beat, and, I mean, that's huge, um, and which is great just because she's kind of a part of all this too with, with having GH here now and, and some family. So, yeah, so you guys, Rich, what, who did you say was going to win? Probably going to Houston. Houston? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. How y'all feel about uh, Juju? Yeah. She's so good. She's she is incredible. good. She's, she's, she's so doing yeah. so well. She's a freshman, right? Yeah. yeah. She scores more than the other yes. team at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty tough. I think I saw the other day that she's like second highest leading scorer for a freshman ever. Right. Which is pretty incredible. Yeah. Yeah. She's good. Um, what about, it? do we have any like um, Caitlin Clark fans? I know Audra said that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you guys think about Caitlin Clark? She's tough. Yeah. Tough? Yeah. Three. Yeah. What about what about like Angel Reese? Is that like Rich? You like that post play Angel Reese? Yeah, she's good. You she's like her? She just needed like. I mean, who am I to say something? Like, <laughs> I want to hear it. She's doing working though. You feel me? Whatever she's yeah. doing working, it's just it's 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 unorthodox, but. Yeah, we're waiting for you guys to have like some kind of beats deal and like you guys then buy some for our team and you know we just I'm you know spread that. Like, like, 
Yeah. <laughs> like, you can be a regular headphone company. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, to finish it up here, let's, uh, what, what's going to, how's our year going to end? Tuck, what, what's, what's going to happen here? What, what's our year going to be here at the end? National championship. Okay, yeah. The natty. the natty, okay. So we're going to be cutting down some nets. Mm. Yeah. Mio, you cutting down the nets too? Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Girls, what, what's our goal besides one game at a time? <laughs> To get you a championship. Oh, yeah. That, Revenge year after last year. Yeah. Yeah, 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 cutting down a few nets also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So in our in our situation, we've we've won regions, but then you had uh, a district game to play into. So we've won two, and I was an assistant um, for Coach Cook, but we've never went to the national tournament in Mineral Area, women's. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, last year uh, – we made it to the championship and, you know, upset Three Rivers and did those things and whatnot. But then, yeah, we've got uh, a big task ahead, like game by game. But, like, it's it's pretty special how, how close they are to making history um, if, you know, everybody's locked in on the on the right time. Because you guys have had this in the past and you've got a great leader ahead um, that's won a national title. So he knows what it takes to be there and things like that. So just neat kind of deal. Is that what you think too, Rich? Natty. 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 Good deal. Yeah. Well, we got a, we got a bunch of great kids here and, um, I appreciate all you guys and, um, you make my, I don't, I don't feel like I have a job. Like I just, I just come and, and hang out with you guys all the time and, and you make us proud and, and the community's really proud of you all and, um, you know, keep it up, uh, make sure we all come out and, and support these guys on, on Saturday and, and give them lots of love and, um, get some wins and have some cake after and, and really get in tune for this next uh, po- or part of this postseason. Yep. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.